never not a dose! Alright, let's go for it. Let's play some warrior. Bam. None are stronger than I. Alright, alright, here we go. I, need a minute I like break. woodcutter's axe. I need axe. a minute break, because this is ridiculous. <laughs> but let's riff it up, baby. Is Priest the best class? Now, Priest and Death Knight are the best two by far. Uh, but... Boop. We're going for it. Uh, I could take the treasure guard. I tried Rift Warrior already, it sucked, but uh, Bridge Riff is the riff that you need to make Rift Warrior work, if anything. Uh, bridge Riff. All the others suck, Dymo. Bridge Riff is... Mediocrely acceptable on its own. All the others suck. Like, they are actually bad cards by themselves. This one is alright. It's vanilla, basically. These are both interesting. I actually kind of have been liking this Razor Fen Rockstar, and I'm actually gonna take it. Ooh. Gonna be the Silver. I love all of these. But gonna be the Silver Fury, I think. Bam. Look at that signature art, man. Gonna be the signature art hipster. Alright, let's wait a second. I think I value Dredge and Warrior. Okay, I ain't picking this. Let's go with the Dredge. Dynomatic is quite interesting to, to counter tempo stuff. Yeah, apparently, I don't know. For me, save said last time, after you pick a signature card, there's that pink thing. Let's go Dino. I gotta be the Murloc Tidehunter, but boy, do I hate all of those. Oh, dude, can you not offer me three shit cards into three good cards? Is Imbued Axe actually better than Sword Eater? Maybe it is. I don't know. These are all so freaking good, but I think it has to be the Imbued. Sunfire or Bridge Riff? I think Sunfire is better, but you, wanna, you all want to Riff Riff, chat? You want to Riff Riff? Gotcha. Power Slider, I've been kind of liking. We have three types already. Hack a deck? I mean, I'm playing Warrior, so... <laughs> These aren't Rifts, Chad. These aren't Rifts. We could go Power Slider. Let's do it. I like that Rush value kind of thing. These suck. I think we take the Hench Clan. Ah, uh, yes, so the first one does nothing, Daimo. From the second one onwards, you play the last one you played again. So if I Bridge Riff, and then my second Bridge Riff I cast it with Finale, it'll cast two Bridge Riffs. And that is OP. Drum Kit no good. Well, I already have a weapon, I'm looking for other weapons. I would say Drum Kit is the worst weapon. Maybe, though. Sure. Just that the others suck anyway, we'll take it. I'll take a verse riff. I don't want this. I don't want I don't want any of these, but we'll go riff. Ah, uh, these are both super premium. Already having two weapons makes me kind of lean reef. It's also an elemental for power slider. Even though I love Woodcutter's X. I will take a diver. Prefer it to Tar Creeper. Also a Merlot. Take a slam. Take one execute. Two executes. Draw a weapon is actually interesting, but this card sucks. Imbued Axe or Kodo High, those are gonna be shredding some Metallica riffs, I haven't listened to Metallica in ages. The, the period of time where I listened to most Metallica was the Saint Anger album, Dealy. I love the Saint Anger album. I don't know why. People hated it, but I really liked it. I don't want two executes. I don't usually either, but two mana. Crap. My favorite riff of all time. They have a new album? Ooh, okay. I'll, I'll take a listen tonight. If 
Well, it's not bad. Nice. Yeah, yeah, you know the, what I'm talking about. Alkaline Saint Tanger, they have the, the music videos like uh, they went to play in a prison or something. That was also the time when they did some uh, orchestral music as well. I don't know, I kind of hate instrument tech. Some psycho. Right. We'll go with a drum soloist that works. It's also a dragon. There's an anima. I think it's better than the black scale. Lava Gorger, yes, priest. Tidal Rev, yes, priest. Ooh. Is this good? Well, not in this deck. This is a rift deck, right? So we go so something else. I haven't listened to much Mantara since high school, but I like the St. Anger, Anger album simply because it's more experimental for them. The snare sound is not very good, though. You know, I've never really thought about it, but I think you're right, Panda. Yeah, since we went for riffs, I don't think we can go for black rock and roll. Because we have so many non-minion things, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Today you know, like a third of the non deck is non-minions. Uh, tokens for infuse, according to this demo. Boom, not so good anymore. Hmm. Asking metallic opinions is an easy way to out chatters over 40. But you think I'm 40, Akaline? I think Runthak is better and helps me stay in the game a little more. So you pay five mana, eat them alive, and then all minions that are in your deck. In your deck. Uh, gain attack and health equal to their cost. So Anima Extractor gets plus two, plus two. Excavation Fest Specialist gets plus four, plus four. I'm going with a run pack here. I'll take a Corporal. Blade Storm is eh. Flesh Shaper or Zombie? Flesh Shaper is interesting because I do have ways of gaining armor. Let's try and make it work. Yes, Rocky, but at least it's 5 map play a 3 6 rush. I actually really like Embers, but we'll go with another Anima. The Dream Theater. I used to listen to just the drums, though, Kaini. I used to listen to just the drumming. I'm going with a Brute here. Baby, this is a rift deck. For me, Dream Theater, the Dream Theater, was the the drummer made it. I used to listen to like Rush. When I used to listen to Dream Theater, that kind of era era. One, two, three, four, five. I could do it another two. I could take a woodcutter's axe, end up with, what, three weapons? And this is fine, dredge. Kind of needs some fours as well, but I think it's one of the twos here. I don't think I did, Daimo. Mm, Dream Theater is quite OG, right? Christ, you always deserve a coffee break, hey? I think I just want some more early game. I think it is actually the Axe or the Cruel Taskmaster. Cruel Taskmaster is great with Anima, great with Execute. But the weapon is really good for buffing for the Black Scale Brute. I think I need more early game. I guess I have Verse Rifts, but Verse Rifts I don't want to play, right? Sunbather by Death Heaven. Not sure I've heard that. Our mid game is like bridge riffs and shit, right? I mean, I think all the music we're talking about, Poet, is relatively old. Well, I guess Metallica has a new album now. Let's 
go with the task. Alright, sweet, let's play. Wasn't Gorger for me? I'm missing twos, hey. Uh, the ping is super premium, I think, with double anima and then execute. Um, I was trying to see if the other weapon was worth it. What a vine. Oh, do you actually have a record player thing? Daimo. I don't think I keep bridge riffs, but I'm keeping the other two. Okay, that works. I personally have never really been the person that follows the people behind the music. And I know I am odd for that, but I was always just purely about the music. Even the lyrics themselves don't really, don't really appeal to me sometimes. Sometimes I listen to a song for the music. Like for me, it was always about the ambience of the music. Yeah, I've never ever seen one played IRL. Like, ever. We make it to seven will be great. Yeah, I'm gonna task and trade here. This is pretty nice. I could, however, trade an axe. Is that better? Yeah, you understand. You play your own instrument, right, Panda? Maybe I just imbued eggs instead. You want a prediction? We can do a little prediction. What now? Beethoven. B? Beat. Beethoven. Alright, let's do a little win prediction. Let's do it. Uh, just a win prediction though. Right? Yeah, let's do a win prediction. Simple. Let's be forget about why we chat about music. It's nice and simple and easy. I've been lacking a little bit in the prediction department, but it's because we've been having some killer conversations. I used to like listening to classic as well, though, poet. I mean, but metal is kind of founded in that realm, right? Oh no. <laughs> uh oh. Am I holding back the weapon here? I could have buffed this, I guess, instead. Like, pinged it and buffed it, but... Let's go for it. I just want to try and hold the weapon till I brute, maybe, but we'll see. So far, 5 damage from single fatigue for the 5 imps. Holy crap. That has to be, um, uh, that has to be an achievement or something. I like certain modern classical stuff. Enaudi. You know, I've only heard one song of Enaudi, and it's actually because uh, you shared it, I think, actually. Wow, this sucks. I think I'm holding the weapon, which means I'm just playing Execute here. I think I'll try and hold the weapon all the way, preferably. I did see a deal. It is. I actually bookmarked it. There, are, there are a couple of uh, licensed songs in it. Dealy. My issue is that I need at least 20, 30 hours of a collection. Otherwise, that would be like every stream I'd replay the entire playlist twice, even three times, maybe. Right. Uh, my dad's a big classical music person who listens to a lot of stuff I think is terrible. Mm, I, I've never been the kind of person that sits and listens to, like, classical. I'll be honest. Though, I'll be honest. My go-to is always, 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 always rock. Rahmaninov, Chopin. Mm. Never really been. Never really been my go-to. I'll be honest. Never really been my go-to. It's pretty good here. We'll use the rush and just keep going face. We get a nice black scale brute and then we can armor bridge riff. Bridge riff will cast two bridge riffs. How oh, does that show you the last riff you cast? 
Well, it's either that or we've got a little random double freaking spell thing here, which is weird. Yeah, this is we Gucci here, as they say. So we do one, two, three, swing. Dome, dome. I listen to anything as long as it's good. Only folk songs get under my skin after one hour or so. Yeah, that's, that's true. Usually I, I kind of set and forget. I kind of set and forget with uh, music. That's something I never really super listen to. Things like techno, Dili. Techno, EDM kind of stuff. They were more like the things I would listen to when out at a place rather than I would search for them myself. I had a short, short phase where I listened to like hard style techno, like Alpha Twins, for example. Very long time ago. But I quickly transitioned into dubstep, which I preferred. Uh, the infected is Psytrance, right, Mafundi? Uh, I could keep run fact. I'm keeping these two. Yeah, and I know they're different. I know they're different. I'm just mentioning them because I approach them the same rather than they're the same thing, right? I think this is fine. Did he used to DJ Dealy? Did he used to uh, DJ at all the hit hip clubs? I can imagine Dealy. <laughs> yeah, I did back in the day. Dude, I can imagine Dealy killing it. Coin riff into riff is a cool combo. We'll see. Yeah, everything. Mostly Psytrance, right? You know what I used to love? I used to love the Cities of the Future remix. You ever saw that one? We'll, we'll take the same start here. Get a nice little buff. They have a lot of diverse music, yeah. They have like rap, but they're, they're, their base is Psytrance, right? So they have like the artillery rap side. And then they have the full-on Psytrance. They have the more modern, like, electronic stuff when it comes... Well, modern. Back then, modern. Um, back then, modern. Try this. Uh, like cities of the future and stuff, and then they have the whole Shpongal era, which is full on Psytrance, right? I used to listen to them a lot. When I was young and stupid, you weren't stupid, Daily, and you were a DJ. Disc jockey is what they call it. There's a dude I follow on Twitch that spins drum and bass on turntables. He's from the UK. Oh. I don't really know people from the UK, I'll be honest with you. That's only one. This becomes a 3-4, which is kind of good, right? It's kind of good. I'm thinking I'm doing it. We could uh, actually quill bar as well, get an extra thing here. Could go for the mech, but I don't really like it. I think we're doing this. Sucks that I'm one off, but we'll get the extra buff here or whatever and send the eight dome, get rid of their armor. Uh, how much armor did they gain, Chad? Did they actually gain 10 armor? The culprit uh, only from Greg's stream, though, I think, Ivanovich. I mean, I could trade and get the buff, but I think we're just doing this. I don't know. What can it be, Snapo? It has to be like one of those legendaries, right? Jailer, Sire. It's pretty good. Maybe I should have traded. Because now they can bonk, bonk, swing. 
Deathwing. Reef Walker Execute is interesting. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Oh, there's the six, twelve as well, and Neptulon. Okay, 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 okay. Those are those are some of the more likely ones, I guess. I think this is worth an execute. Uh, in which case, I think we do the little poison play. I'll hold back this one swing. If they want to take the... F uh, maybe I missed one damage. I missed one. Uh, I, I forgot this was at four. I missed, I missed one damage there. The first 40 years of a kid's life are the hardest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're still a child, you know, in the first 58 years... Could be a general as well. Okay, we'll see who's right. We'll see who's right. What's that, 13? 13 what? Oh, 1 3. Uh, Razor Fen Rockstar. Uh, 1 man, 1 3 Quillbor. After you gain armor, gain 2 more. I actually kind of like it. It's been alright. I like it with the power slider. I, I, I've been drafting this. I've been drafting this with some form of forte. Shield chatter isn't in. Don't debate me, Axie. Alright. Never debated, always a winner. Oh, this does remind me of Axel. There's the verse riff. Okay. You never know. Let's see if we get punished for missing one. This? Oh, this reminds me of Axel. They all remind me of Axel. <laughs> <laughs> After Chinese democracy, <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. One of my, uh, one of my friends at school was super into axle rolls. Well, friends, someone was at school with me. Punished actually? No, I missed one damage, right? They would be at two. Have you found out Slider adds the other type in the case you play a minion with two types and a minion of one of those? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it does, Mufundi. It is actually, basically, even for one Amalgam Band, it is smart in that sense, right? That it counts as one of them, but if you play one, it will count as the other one then. But it won't count as both. Two damage. Yeah, it was two off, right? Uh, Psychotora. Axel Rose cosplay when we can send the bandana from Cape Cod land. <laughs> no, never, never, Alkaline. Yeah, Amalgam will always be an extra one, basically, Mufundi. Until you play them all. No, no, they're not set. It will count as anyone out first. I'm full mal in here. I mean, they all took huge inspiration from each other, right? Hey, is the truth. Yeah, so Amalgam Outburst will always count as an extra minion type for those kind of cards. So if you play five Amalgams, those are five minion types. Slash cosplay to find a mop. I do have a mop, actually. Can you name all tribes by heart? If you tell me how many there are, probably. Quillbore, Mech, Dragon. Now oh, guess how many first? I think there's nine or ten tribes. I think there's nine or ten tribes. Kinda suck. So we hipster in here or what? I think so. Touring grunge wave is what I like. Most intriguing. I think we actually have to take a blood boil, right? Like, are these really that good? I mean, nothing is. I don't think I have the board for anti-magic shell. Can you name every chatter by heart? 
No, but I, I know a lot of the chatters. But slam my own minion, but... But I think I remember chatter is enough. But I Like, uh... I think it's what I put my uh, effort into. I remember at least something about most chatters. All is separate. All isn't separate. Come on now, hey. 11? Yeah, I, I said 11, right? Didn't I say 11? I think I said 11. I don't remember what I said is the truth. Okay, I could drum kit, but it really doesn't do much here. Let's just play the specialist. I hope this fits on the ship. Uh, bridge riff for next turn potentially is interesting. Let's do it. I just want more, all the bridge riffs. I'm not even trading here. Screw it. Nine to, I thought I said 10 to 11. Nice, I was one off. There's what? Quillbore? Elemental? Yeah, I thought I said 10 to 11, that's um, funny. My mistake. Quillbor, Elemental, Murloc, Mech, Dragon, Beast, Nagas, I'd forgotten about that. Oh yeah, my short term memory's gone. I don't even know what other tribes there are. Uh, no. It's this light. Just a bulb above me. Undead? Yeah, undead. Pirate? Yeah, totem? Yeah. I don't know what's the 11th one then. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Beast, mech, undead. Elemental, cool boy, murder. Pirate, totem, dragon, naga, and... We never did, yeah, we never did, we never did, we never did. Demon. There we go, and demon. Good one. So we could rune a fact, but rune fact uh, buff uh, nothing uh, here. Uh, right, uh, right, uh, right, uh, right, uh, We could Kodo high. I'm so close to being a... I mean, if I Kodo high, I can actually clear the battlefield, which is interesting. Yeah, I may actually do that. Demons? Demons. Ooh. Keep it real. Why you speak with a weird accent? Uh, uh, accent too. Don't mock me, my fan. You'll get banned from the platform. Okay, I'm friends with uh, the, the big heads behind Twitch. <laughs> they will find you, okay? You gotta hide your kids and hide your wife. Because they're getting everybody out there. Did you just say that people who own Twitch have big heads? Emilia will find you, Mufandi. Oh no. Then I go to Mixer, dude. If you go to Mixer, dude, go going to Mixer <laughs> is like <laughs> you know what? Ninja I did. <laughs> uh... Oh no, Ray. What have I done? Jojo and the million. Oh my god. Hey. <laughs> Who's Jojo and the million? <laughs> so this deals one damage to all minions. Which I think is fine. Now, which one do I want to kill? Both. 
Why are they spam emoting me, chat? You have the best chat of any arena streamer. Why, thank you, Dash. I'm glad you enjoy it. I'm glad you enjoy it. I think we, I think it's a very versatile chat as well, I'd say, Dash. Sometimes we're memeing, sometimes we're trolling, sometimes we're serious, sometimes we're educational, sometimes we talk about Hearthstone. I like that in a way. Why well, chance I made lost all the way is above, dude? Now those. No way. Zero, Mufundi. Zero. Like, purely zero, Mufundi. So, oh my god, wait a second, wait a second. I, I have another story for you here. I have another story for you here. You just reminded me of one. Oh, beautiful. Viking. Thank you for the photo, Viking. Alright, so to anyone that doesn't know, okay? To anyone that doesn't know, okay, wait, I gotta finish something first. Okay? Smart. Remind me the word smart, chat, okay? The word smart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is pretty good, right? Thank you, by the way. I hope you're enjoying the stream, Viking. The VIPs get no bonuses. Any? You, you can't actually change it. The only thing I can do from my am from my end, Kayani, the only thing uh, that I uh, that I can do is toggle whether subs get ads or not. That's the only thing I can do. And obviously I leave it as off. Hey, 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 hey. I'm coming in with the story soon. And Viking, glad to hear, man. Hedge Always welcome here, here for real, man. Fundi. They have given 115 gift subs in the channel. Hey, thank you so much, man. I, uh, I appreciate that a ton, dude. I appreciate the gifted sub. <laughs> My Fundi! Alright, so, um, Emilio, to anyone that doesn't know, okay, we were talking about this yesterday, but I'm gonna be mentioning a few stories, okay? I'm gonna be mentioning a few stories, and I'm not gonna go through the entire description of who Emilio is, but he's uh, an Ita a Maltese guy who had this Italian, like, roots or whatever, that I used to hang out with when I was younger. He owned a bar, and he did a few things, right, but... Essentially... Okay, we could go with the rush here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want to start gaining armor though. Just do this. They will kill this. Let's just do this. Yeah, exactly. Pickle, Pickle knows what we're talking about. Pickle knows what we're talking about. So this Amelia guy, right? The only way I can describe it, a lot of you are American or know of American culture in some form or other. The only way I can describe him is, what did I say yesterday? Like a New York obese pimp? Something like that. Right, you have to imagine gray hair, hand resting on belly, but in line with his chin, g huge gold rings on each of his fingers, two girls, young girls on, on his arms, speaks in like an Italian accent. Um, that kind of guy. So this was Amelia, okay? And, Malta was a... Uh, I used to live in Malta. Malta is a small country, small island, where traffic is rampant. If you've been here before, you know that traffic is rampant. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. You get the kill. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is real. Mafandi. Everything I've said is real, Mafandi. So, uh... His bar and his hotel, right? Is he on the small hotel as well? They were in Patchville. Now, Patchville was the place. A lot of people, if you're from abroad, you might have called it Pace, Paceville or Paceville. It's actually Patchville. Um, uh, basically, the entire country, there's one like club bar area, which was like the entertainment center. And this place was full and packed with shoddy hotels 
bars, clubs, strip clubs, student housing, and student English schools. That was the only thing that there was in this entire town, right? No exaggeration. No exaggeration. That was everything there was in the town. Right? As I grew older, more bars shut and more strip clubs opened, but whatever. That was They were never my thing anyway, but just a little thing. Economic hub. Yeah, that's what some people called it as well, hey? There was a taxi place and some fast food places and stuff like that as well, you know? Like pizza by the slice and the Subway and the McDonald's and the Burger King. Blah, blah, blah. So Emilio used to, the parking there you can imagine was impossible. First of all, it was a pedestrianized area, so you had to park on the outskirts. But borderline impossible, right? Borderline impossible to find parking. So uh, the smart Emilio decides that the best way for him to find parking is to get a car that can fit on the pavement, right? And park it outside his own place on the pavement right so uh, what he decided to do is buy himself okay and I kid you not like on the sidewalk yeah then so the, it, it, sidewalks are tiny this is not like US sidewalk two, two, two person width crammed that kind of size of sidewalk <laughs> Um, double two. I have another weapon, right? Somewhere, somehow. What's my other weapon? Yeah. Go we'll take this trade. That's legal here if your wheels are on the other side of the road. Really? No, it's illegal where I used to live. But anyway. Um, so he decided the smart Emilio in one of his, like, uh,. I don't know, half drunken, half asleep. Oh yeah, to anyone that doesn't know, this is an important part of the story. To anyone that doesn't know, Emilio had a heart condition where he would just instantly fall asleep in the middle of anything. He would just instantly fall asleep, okay? This is an important part of the story. Um, uh, and uh, he decided, I don't know how, he just turned up with it one day. Yeah, people told me it was not Calypso yesterday. He decided to buy himself the smallest. And I shit you not, chat. The smallest. Wow, this is a crappy run pack. Okay, let's do this instead. Wait for it. This pause is on purpose. The smallest. Bright yellow smart. A car. I don't know if you've ever seen a smart, by the way. No, not really, Sev, they don't. I don't know if you've ever seen a smart. These cars are tiny. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> it was. These cars are tiny, okay? I don't think if you, I don't know if you've ever seen a, a really bright yellow one either. But boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh lord, what, what is the, the holy crap, dude? Do they even have board space? Oh jeez, lord Louise, what is going on here? They come in Kinder Surprise Eggs. Yeah, we are talking tiny. We are talking tiny, though. I'm coming to the story, boo. Hey, I'm coming. This is this is where it gets interesting. Let them figure it all out. So, you have to imagine, okay, that you're there, you're having a drink. Yosef is fumbling around behind the bar, right? Yosef is fumbling around behind the bar, and all of a sudden, you hear. And you're like, what the hell is that sound? Yes, that was the sound of his horn, right? And you see this freaking blinding light outside, okay? And I mean blinding light. You're like, what the hell is that? Lo and behold, a yellow smart. Like, what the hell is a yellow smart doing here in the middle of 
freaking <laughs> in the middle of freaking patch of it. <laughs> You're like, okay, okay, okay. What's going on now? What's going on now? Who's who's honking their horn here? Who's honking their horn? You look outside the bar, and you go, Yosef, Yosef. Ask ten men, Yosef. You won't believe it, Yosef. I swear you won't believe it, Yosef. And Yosef goes, what, what, what? You just see the, the freaking window roll down on a yellow smart, right? A hand, a little big floppy hand come out and beckon us over. We're like, oh my god, you get closer and you're like, is that a bird? Is that a plane? No? It's Emilio, sitting <laughs> in his fucking yellow smart, right outside the bar. And we're like, no way, he bought a yellow smart. <laughs> this guy actually bought a yellow smart. There is just no way. Someone asked, how did he fit in it? Someone asked, how did he fit in it? Well, that's the point. It took him like 20 minutes to get in and out of the car. We had to help him out of the car every time, dude. Like... <laughs> freaking five drunk 16-year-olds helping a fat 40-year-old out of his yellow smart parked in the middle of a pedestrianized area. Like, no offense to him or anything. But anyway, anyway. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, it only has two reviews though. I would never trust those kind of reviews in Volta, but hey ho. Um, let's go ahead and do this here. I don't know, I th oh, things are happening. We'll, we'll figure it. Let's start with a hipster. We'll find Scourge. This is amazing. This is pretty. This is a good story. Lines, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lines was bought out though. It wasn't Emilio's place afterwards, by the way. It was it was bought out, so Um Oh yes, that's what it was called. It was called Alex House afterwards. Oh yes, because it split up. Oh my god, I remember this place. Yes. Dude, I threw up on those blue stairs so many times. So imagine, 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 I can show you, in that picture right there, Mafandi, okay? He used to park where the old man is standing in that picture. Like, he used to pass between the two parked cars and park onto his own drive of the bar. Like, not, not, not on the road, like, on the pavement piece, man. Like, for real, though, for real. I'm not even kidding you. I am not even kidding you. All right, give me a second here. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. A little bit of this. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. A little bit of this. Oh, I could have... Oh, wait a second. I've cast a bridge rift before, right? I'll, I'll, uh, I'll just take it a little easy here. I've changed my plan because of the bridge rift. No, I don't really have photos from back then, Mafundi. Let's see, I have a funny story back from college about cars. My friends and I were all racing today when I wanted McDonald's, but the drive through was the only thing that was open. Walked up, and they denied us service since we were into the car, so we went back home, made a card where Chili Car went back up, and they decided to let us ride there. Beautiful, Snapple. Okay, so, now that we're in this position, chat, I'm ready to tell you another part of the story. It's happening. Trust. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, give me a second here, because this is all pretty confusing. We're doing this. And then we're doing this. And then we're doing this.
And then we're doing this. And then we're doing this. These are all like separate and different things at the same time, you know what I mean? Now we're doing this, now we're doing this, and this, and this, and this. There we go. That's about the special phone. We didn't have a special phone. So uh, one day, one day, right, I was out drinking and I used to, I used to go out drinking really early and stay out really late, right? So my, my, my best friend at the time, his name was Clyde, um, uh, he calls me up, right? And he goes, Dose, well he used to call me by my real name, but you know, Dose. Uh, so you do, you lose part of the effect because in all honesty, it makes a huge difference that it was in Maltese, okay? Because it makes a huge difference that it's in Maltese, trust me, but... So be it, you know? So be it. I'll hold back the execute, we'll do this for now. So he goes, Dose, I need your help, man. I'm like, dude. I've been drinking for like three hours. What kind of help do you need? He goes, I need your help, man. He's like, I need your help. I'm like, where? Where are you? Where are you? He's like, three roads down from Pachaville, dude. I, I need your help. I need you to come here right now. I'm like, all right, tell me where. Tell me where. He goes, oh, in front of the pastizzeria, um, near the near Wembley's taxi. And he's like, come prepared. He's like, come prepared. I'm like, can you tell me what we're coming here for? What's going to happen? He goes, just trust me. I go, okay. So I arrive and he he walked a little bit, like one road closer than when he told where he told me to meet, right? He walked like one road closer. Mm. Do I execute here? Those packs of pistol? What? No, no, no. No pistol packing. I execute this. I think it's worth it at this point, honestly. So he calls me over. He goes, "Okay, Dose, I was there. Okay, and uh, I was, I was, uh, I was coming off the bus uh, to come meet you." I'm like, "Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh, and what? And what?" He's like, "I just saw this bright, blinding light down the street." I'm like, "You don't see a bright, blinding light that often. Something has to have happened." I'm like, what happened, dude? What happened? What happened? Pull her up. Let's do this. And let them figure out the rest. We're going dome now. He's like, I don't know, bright blinding light down the street. I'm like, okay, what happened? He's like, so I walked. I walked. Oh, order. That's true. That's true. Sorry, I'm, I'm thinking about this whole thing. Um, uh, that was a big mistake, though. That was a big mistake. It's okay, though. We Gucci, we Gucci, we Gucci. Am I trading here with this, though? It's all right. Yeah, yeah, little mistake on the order. It's all good. We got this, chat. We got this. So, uh, my friend tells me, look, listen. I walked over to this blinding light, and, and this huge sound, like a cacophony of horns. Eh, 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 eh. Because in Malta, if there's traffic or someone annoying you in the road, it was always horn. Always horns, right? Always horns. I'm like, okay. He's like, I had to go check what it, out what it was. All that sound of horns, I could hear it from roads down, a bright blinding light in the street. I'm like, what was there? He's like, come, come, dude, come, come over, come over. And as I'm walking closer, I see there, in the middle of a pile of traffic, horns everywhere in those tiny roads. And in the middle of the road, I kid you not, was a freaking bright yellow smart on idle. I'm like, no way. Is that the bright yellow smart I think it is. Is that the bright yellow smart I think it is? We're walking closer, we're walking closer. And what had actually happened, and I, I swear on my life though, okay? What had actually happened is my friend Clyde went to figure out what happened, right? Went to figure out what happened, 
this guy was Emilio was driving to work right in traffic, so in traffic in Malta, you just put it on idle usually and you put up the handbrake, right? Because you're driving that really slow, right? Falls asleep because of his condition, right? And just doesn't wake up at all. Traffic, people honking the horn, going round him and everything. Nobody caring at all what's going on. Clyde wakes him up, right? But like I said, he couldn't get out of the car himself. So he had to call me to go help him take Emilio out of his yellow smart because he couldn't drive it because he was freaking out or something. And the only thing I can say is, how is this real life, chat? How is this real life, man? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> it had nothing to do with Yosef this time round, actually. It had nothing to do with Yosef this time round, believe it or not. Oh my god, dude. Hey, Kodre, good to see you. Every time Peace out, I hey. am kicked in this freaking game. Every time. I'm glad you found the picture, though, Mufundi. That brings back... So that is an old picture, I will say. But yeah, that does not look like a strip club at all to me. Just different worlds, I guess. Different worlds. I don't know, what is this? Only in Monta. Yeah, only... In my age and time as well. Let's get some extra armor here. The background image on the sign. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like it to me. It doesn't look like it to me. I, I just used to it though. It's just different. It's just different. Oh, what am I doing here? Do I actually do nothing again? I could tempo run fact, but that's awkward, right? I'm tempted to just pass, in all honesty. The picture on the outside is just like lights. Something in a frame near the door? Something in a frame near the door. For lines or for Alex's house, you mean? Oh, for lines, like, right next to the door? Those were the adverts for what shots and stuff they had going. How did they get the Ashbringer? Oh, the Worgen Roadie. Like, the shots and some menu items and what, like, drinks were on offer. It's like 22 euro for a bottle of vodka, you remember? Those kind of things. Okay, so we can run like this. Is that worth it though? We could also drum soloist. Hmm. Everything's a touch awkward. I think drum soloist for now. Because drum soloist is not always good. That is kind of the outskirts of the place. You have to walk further down the road to get to more of the central area, I remember. Holy crap, dude, it's bringing back some, some memories, it is. Dude, they are so different, though. Oh, Coconut was one of my favorite places. Dude, they look so different, man. They look so different. So we can slam run fact five, six, seven, eight. So slam, anima, then run tech, I guess. Get an extra buff. So let's try with this. Hmm, there's a verse riff. If we can get the verse riff instead, maybe is better, actually. I think the verse riff may be better. Pushing the seven face, it looks like they don't have an answer to stuff, right? I don't know, maybe we keep the run fact healthy. I want to get the verse riff out so we get the bridge for sure though, right? 
makes it kind of interesting as to what we can do, but rolling the anima is also quite good. We can get the first drift to work next turn maybe. Do I get the buff on anima? Hmm. I don't know here. Change my mind. I want the 7 though. I've changed my mind. Uh, what do you think of this Shami? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Double mark. Double pack. Little refill. One command. Rust fin. It's alright. It's alright. Nothing too, too premium, but it's alright. They did get a... That was a nice freaking top deck for them. But we still have our run fact, maybe. We'll see. Let's take a look at John's. So one time, my friend and I were walking in a local park. About 10, 11 years old. We heard really loud cracking above us and looked up. Just in time to see a massive tree branch falling towards us. Holy crap. We jumped in opposite directions and barely avoided being crushed. But the dirt and tree debris that was kicked up was blinding and deafening. So we both thought the other got crushed. We both ended up going home in a haze thinking the other was dead. Holy crap. He ended up calling my house ready to tell my mom was crushed at the park. Oh my god, dude. That is scary stuff, John. Those are things I would never have experienced in Malta, I'll be honest. Holy Louise Moly, though. Like, holy Louise Moly, man. I'll get a, f a buff on the anima rather than an extra buff. Uh, easy bridge riff. I think I may need to keep the anima back though here, huh? So I can... I guess I don't want to necessarily get the bridge riff finale or whatever. So let's just go ahead and play everything. Let them figure it all out. Was surreal like the tree just broke in half and tried to get revenge for all of nature collectively. That is crazy stuff though, for real. Another great top deck. Dude, did they just top deck Arcane Bolt? Arcane wear him into Arcane Bolt twice in a row for the perfect damage. Seems like they did. <laughs> Need the defenders. Joy can't really target or anything. Interesting pre hits from them. Maximize face damage. They have infinitized the maxitude, but check out this dynomatic dude. As long as they don't dredge, maybe we're fine. We still have double bridge riff, but bridge riff is gonna be really hard to finale now. Did they actually just top deck again? Another arcane worm into vault? <laughs> like what? They get the finale there, that's so annoying. But they don't get the finale on Infinitize, right? Or do they? Brute? Am I holding back? <sighs> what do I do, man? Brute? Hold. I don't know. I have, yeah, I have six drafted rifts. Sucks a little bit. Hey, oh, Slap Fight Championship. Good to see you. Do you remember a game called Croc? I vaguely do, Dash Bandicoot. Did you did, was it, did you have to go into wells, like little secret areas to collect stuff? Am I remembering something? Yeah, actually, John, I've checked it out before because Kayani told me about it. I was trying to find something and Kayani told me about Huya. And yeah. The thing is, I couldn't understand which one was viewers or views. 
Might have been views. I don't remember. I don't know really is what I should say. I think we have to go with the Dynomatic and pray they don't have an answer. We'll keep first drift because we can first drift into bridge drift or something like that. Or even bridge drift into armor first drift. That's maybe a little better. And we've got two bridge rifts. So two out of 11 to draw bridge drift. Okay, this is a pretty good mage deck. We have a fireball as well. It's an overall heat score. It's a combined number of viewers and their viewer score. Oh. That's an interesting... That's interesting. Missing the dre uh, missing the bridge riff is kind of annoying. Cause now we can't the bridge riff would have been huge here. Either way, I need this 12 to go dome, right? Guaranteed. I hope this fits on the ship. Oh, these suck. This is not what I was looking for. All my good cards are somewhere not at the bottom, but also not at the top. I guess this thins my deck. I have to do it. I need this 12 to go dome. Like, for sure. Maybe we can get the 3 dome plus tidal rev later. Like 17 years ago, I went to chill at my parents' parents' friends. You know, my sister was trying to the kitchen to grab something. There was open hatch to the basement. She was thinking it's a rug. Oh my god. Oh my god, Bohemius. I know that someone that that happened to in bars, because the bars had like a little place. But uh, they never they never actually hurt uh, that badly. Oh my god, dude. I mean, we have a bunch of armor, so maybe we're fine. There is the drum kit. Okay, so we're equipping this first. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, go, just going for it. We, we have bridge rifts. We have tidal rev. But yeah, the way bars were with Malta, that I used to hang out at behind the counter, they always had like a trap door, like literally a trap door with a little ladder. It's where they kept some of their storage usually. Dude, if we can actually get there in this game, that would be so insane. Surely. Where's the other touch? They have, they have double drafted frozen touch, right? Okay. Mm. So I assume they're looking for like... What can that be, chat? Another infinitize. They're really trying to go for value. They're really trying to go for value. Which kind of surprises me in a way. Come on, surely, right? Surely? Do I ever go face with the drum kit? I listened to ETC before he was cool. Oh my god, dude. Am I one off? I actually hold though like full hold they have their their frozen touches are infused again almost there yeah I mean I just need my title rev really the only issue with holding is if I top deck imbue decks. Yeah, that's that's the only issue, my fundy. The streets are not safe. It's also a little a little rough. The thing with holding is I can keep gaining armor to try and clear something like this, right? It also lets me flame the 4-7 for a kill now. But now then would be one off again. Hand is 
it's too full. Yeah, that's true, Mufundi, but there's a punish to each and every play, right? There's a punish to each and every play. Ah, uh, that's my issue. Unfortunately, now we don't get the flesh shaper. Double shooting star. Interesting. They have so many. Uh, they've cast like nine frozen touches, three infinitized the maxitudes, double cold case as well. They're just going for a burn. I equip the axe now. Well, I've already swung. That's why I can't swing. I equip it now for top deck tidal revenant. I don't think I play bridge riff. Just gives them something to freeze and it could be plagiarize as well, which gives them taunt. I don't think they can kill me. Oh my god, there's Mecha Shark. The bottom of their deck is double sunken sweeper. Oh my god, solid alibi, dude. And Ghost Rider. They have six cards, but their bottom two cards are sunken sweepers, my fundy. So do I play Bridge Riff? I'm scared of perjury. Uh, play plagiarize. Sorry, is what I'm scared of. Yeah, it does distract them, but it also gives them ways of uh, infusing their frozen touch pistol Pete, and it also gives them uh, uh, things for plagiarize. You think that's objection, objection, and cold case? Murloc Tide Hunter is lethal now. Don't we still win? Objection could also be... Ice Barrier, right? It's kind of insane. GG. Could we have Beat Barrier? No. They had Solid Alibi, John. They had solid alibi. Five Mufundi and their last two are sunken sweepers. Ah, whatever. How do you collect your highlight clips? You spend hours trading through games. Um, yeah, they had the plagiarize as well. I uh, I only I if there's a great moment, I mark it. Dash Bandicoot, and I go back to them. But yes, I spend quite some time going through and checking uh, each of my marked moments and every clip that everyone has made that day. In your opinion, which are the best Death Knight rooms combination? Well, the truth is that you should. Uh, um, you should not force a room type, but I would say any one that lets you get to, I'm getting out of this game, a any one that lets you get two room types, so maybe two green and one blue would be the best, but you want to not force any room type. As much as possible, you want to try and keep uh, options open to have two runes because that's where the discover cards are but take the quality that's offered to you you gotta take everything 
a little extra skill there. Lucky? Yeah, triple cold case. Um, Perf, the Ghost Rider gave them the two spells. They discovered Solid Alibi. I top decked the uh, Tidal Revenant about six turns too late. Right? Right after they Solid alibi which is the perfect turn for them to Solid alibi into a Ghost Rider that gave them specifically Ice Barrier and Cold Case. Good day, Zygo. Good to see you. Yeah, and it's fixed. It's fixed. It's fixed, Zygo. Crappy game there, unfortunately. 20 years ago, we went to chill at the lake with parents. I was running on the footbridge to jump into the lake, but my parents and friends were chilling there and eating something from a can. Oh! Dude, I don't know. I stepped on it whilst running. Puff my finger out of the foot. The worst part was unconsciously grabbed the cap of the can and threw it up. There's it's flying somewhere, so the can still foot caught the cat. It was stuck in my palm, didn't fall out. Oh my god, god. I think I preemptively slammed this. I need to draw. Thanks so much, because my first choice pick involves two green runes. Uh, I would probably add Dark Maximus. I would probably. Look, you gotta take everything with a little pinch of salt, but probably, yeah, it's a good one. Hey, Alma, good to see you, man. I don't really have much choice. I think we imbued and swing. Like, uh, I could coin the four and try and find something playable, which should be most of my deck, but might coin Ranthak instead or, or Dino. I want to try and hold, but I think I'm just doing this. I probably want to coin Black Scale Brute, so we'll go Ranthak into coin Black Scale. Let's try that. I have a Shaman. A 2-2 two, two, and listen to my wins. And 0-1 oh, one, and 1-2. One, versus a Demon Hunter with Zillag and Neptulan. Versus a Deathline with Drafted Marogard. Game I only won by playing Cold Storage for an even bigger Marogard. And these games are the wins. Today is a day with a lot of insanity, so it seems. Or so it seems. I think I have to kill this. Before shenanigans. Um, uh, I played a game versus a priest randomer with triple incriminating psychic, triple identity theft, and Katrina Muerte that kept resummoning Mishmash Mosher as a shaman who luckily discovered Astelor, alright, and two cold storages to copy my Astelor twice, only to have it stolen each time by the priest as well. <laughs> I really like the buff there, though. Dino was a clear. Full clear? Maybe I should have thought about it a little bit more. I like this being a 6-7 instead of a 5-6. That's what I was focusing on. That's fine. Maybe we can run them out of value. I'm still upset I lost the last game. We were so close to being there. Another soul breaker, but they've already swung. No, they have not. Well, that sucks. I mean, they're almost out of cards here, though, huh? We could Dynomatic now and then play Anima Extractor. I kind of want to play Anima behind something, though, maybe. So I could Dynomatic with Anima out and then swing into whatever survives. I don't know. No. Maybe Dynomatic and Armor is just fine. Light the fuses. I don't know, how greedy should I be? Hmm. 
Yeah, I was actually tempted to random her. You do it this way and then you hope that your imbued can clean up. Yeah, it, it, I was gonna win it a Bitcoin, but my opponent was, let's just say, they had around four perfect top decks, and then also about four perfect discoveries, and also, I didn't draw the card which was lethal several, several times in a row. And the only time I drew it is the turn it wasn't, the only turn it wasn't lethal, and then they also discovered the only secret which then saves them, or one of the two. <laughs> Those games always can exist, is the truth. Those games can always exist. Dude, I need to I need to close Get this early I will fight with honor. Victory or death. Alright, let us chuck all of these and find everything else. A perfect storm sounds about right, yeah. That's that's the best description. Ooh, hipster. Okay, this is all right versus Le Pally. Le Pally. Alright, one. Fire can finish just Fire's Warriors. Oh yeah, if you had a Fire's Warriors, the wild bug is like the worst thing to have. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was fixed yesterday evening, random eh? Uh in a hot fix. So it was fixed yesterday evening. So we'll see what we want to do. If I play Murloc Tidehunter, my power slider becomes a 3-4 rush. Which is pretty cool. Mm, but against this, I may honestly just hipster and hold back on the power slider. Summon two one cost minions from your deck. Give them taunt. What are these? What now? <laughs> yeah, it's it basically it's three mana heal one, three mana do nothing, or one mana heal two. <laughs> I this is a bad card. CS. I also wanted something to play on 3, preferably, but so be it. That's interesting. They're setting up for a cons or something here? You think they're setting up for cons? Do we have our armor pass? Or armor yeah, double trade? That was not a mistake. I can see it in your eyes setting up the cons. Because you, you know I have that lovely Murloc Tide Hunter. No, I didn't. I heard it, uh, chicken. I'm tempted to double trade, though. Um, because I started to get confused looking at sushi. I'm a fundy. And, uh, I had eaten salmon the previous day. Yeah, but what do you want me to do, Mufundi? Armor and pass is my other option, right? If they want to consecrate my tight hunter, take it. I still think this is the better play, even if they have consecrate. You know, you're there cake wing This is the correct play, man. And you know it. You, you, know, you know it. Mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs> I was tempted to hold it all, though. I was tempted to hold it all. I don't know what's correct, though. It's, it's a tough freaking thing. I don't know. <laughs> really? Dude, really? Ooh. Ooh. Wait a second. Wait a second. These are also good, dude. I think we have to go and build, though. 
Yeah, I know, but... The rifts get a little awkward when they summon four minions that die relatively easily to stuff. We'll see. Eleven two priest after going one two to star dude That's killer man good luck Graham you got this You got this you got this you got this Okay it's kinda fine That my idea I ran them is that my rushy rushes could keep getting buffed by the Imbuti Beauty X. For mind details, the better they are, the better I am. Mind details are good card. It's a solid two with great, great upside. <laughs> they have to be these, or could it actually be this card as well? No. These three for sure. I'm not sure about this. Not these two. It was their turn... No, it could also be the, the three as well, right? Because they had played Tire Creeper when they were debating me. And they drew this on that turn. Oh, they coined Tire. Okay, then it's these three. Hmm. And then made the saucy trade. Yeah, it's just like... Uh, I think they have Consecrate. I think we just... Uh, <laughs> I think they may just concede. I don't know. What it, oh, God. I mean, what did... Like, what? <laughs> They're trying to play around in view decks. By the holy light. I might Maki roll next turn just to get this. Yeah, maybe, maybe. We'll see, because you need board space as well, right? This this is four minions. By the holy light. <laughs> get another for free. By the holy light. And another one for free. Actually, a little bit annoying. How much health does this have? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. <laughs> Look at that! Talk about a rocker board, chat! You've got all the musicians and the groupie. The 69 right here on the left. Look at that. All the musicians and the groupie. <laughs> Baited into a quality concert, right? <laughs> I mean, uh, go for it, Mofandi. Go for it. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're looking at what I'm doing, so I can't really play around anything at this point, but... They need specifically a quality consecrate, right? Carried by Mark Hero. <laughs> I would I would say carried by the skilled player choosing imbued axe to dredge. The 69 the left just makes it perfect. Feast and famine. Swing here, cons. This one's cons. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> of course it was random air come on. Alright, we'll show them this.
Sounds about right to me too, Mr. Viking. We're back up to 69 friends online as well. Talk about a perfect finisher there. Musicians, riffs, 69 groupies, 69 friends. The chef kiss consecrate read. Man, talk about perfection. Hey, Tom. Good to see you, man. Easy, Aladair, he says. Easy. Let's try and go seven here. We went six earlier, right? I got 69 problems, but a riff ain't one. It's going all good. Going all good, Tom. How about you, man? Okay. I think I actually go Coin Animon to Murloc Tide Hunter, hoping to get the imbued. Um Bonked. I could start with Tide Hunter actually, and I think I will. Makes it so that Anima is more likely to do something. They play a 2-3, I play Anima I double trade. There is a punish which is Chisel, but let's assume they have no chisel. Kalimdora Palooza was better. Kalimdora was better. Hard day at work? What do you do, if I may? If you want to share, you can also just ignore my question, but... Glad it's over, let's put it that way. I actually have no idea I'm a fundy. If you want me to be honest. Halimdora Palooza? Halimdora Palooza? Bottle bab bubble boop boop boom. <laughs> Trying to teach students multiple regression analysis. Ooh. That's interesting. That play actually paid off so nicely there for us. I love the math. That's awesome though, but tough. Especially if they don't want to learn, right? Hey, a legendary fox. Hey, a sparrows. Good to see you all. Ooh, they did have the carving chisel. Hey, a lost sticks? Good to see you all. Popping on in like a boss. <laughs> well, let's just say the earnings are a touch different, Mr. Tom. Ooh, do I ever jive in sec? I think I may actually do so. Then we'll do this. Uh, I used to be uh, an assistant slash extra at uni though for half a year, Tom. For 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 a while. Um. Oh, that's actually the worst one for me to get there. Because I wanted to value trade and jive. I don't. I don't. Ah, that sucks for me. So I guess we just jive it now, huh? Keep it real. Don't even know if it's worth this value trade. Probably not. No problem. Yeah, I was, for me, it was my first two semesters of the Masters, Tom. Oh, what happened to the art? Oh, I've seen this bug before, actually. It's not even replicatable, it's it's random. But look at the art. Beautiful. Check this out. Let's, let's give it a little screenshot. <laughs> janitor coming in with a six month resub that's a new mug right there janitor thank you so much for the support really appreciate it really appreciate it hey timmy arena is fixed yes siri mm, how am i dealing with these chat how am i dealing with these I guess we're doing this and figuring it out later. We're gonna catch up with a couple of things here. We're going with the bridge rift. The others are just really not good fights. Have to do this. Oh, ambush. Oh, no. It's okay. The 8-8 will kill it. 
Let's see, got Anima Extractor from a Maze Guide as a Paladin, emoted well played to the opponent, they had the audacity to concede only after a buffed to a 5-8 on turn 3. <laughs> uh, oh no, I think we lost. Because I played a minion. I did fall right into their trap. Uh. We have flooded long enough. Now we rise. So now the idea is that we Kodo hide armor verse riff. Congratulations, Graham. Got the 12. Let's freaking go, my man. Am I dead here? finale this to get the lethal I don't know uh, that hipster animation is part of the tavern pass Tom it's a signature card art on the hipster you didn't want the armor proc you didn't want the finale oh armor then this oh I think it's irrespective they either roll the taunt and we find a way to go face or not i mean sure i guess it would have helped a little bit so i could have done that a touch different but i think we're just trying to go for the face lethal here or nothing that's lethal right Three, four, five, yeah. <sighs> Riff lethal, baby. Actually ripping it up. I w it, it no, no that's true though. I, I thought I thought that there was a different order there, but Mr. Graham, who goes 12 with a priest. First 12 of the new meta. Were the MVPs the mind eaters for you, Graham? I'm kind of curious. I always, uh, when people come in with 12, I always ask for the MVPs. Still trying to grab a grasp of the meta myself. And I'm meant to be the one thanking you, Graham. Which I will. Thank you for the gifted to Kathy as well, nonetheless. Really appreciate it, man. I always appreciate the support. You know it, dude. Man, it's a very good draw. Perfect game with zero misplays. Yeah, there was a tiny, tiny misplay at the end, random air, but an inconsequential 0.001% of the game kind of misplay, right? I'm not even sure if it's necessarily a misplay because it doesn't really make a difference, right? If you're not going face there, the game is over. Mm. Interesting. This works, right? Look at that, chat. I think there are three or four different ones. Um, X-Ray, there's the Bridge Rift, which is the only good one in my opinion. Six mana, three, four taunt, four, three rush. There's the Verse Rift. 
think we have to do this and wait. Ah, which is the two attack and two armor. There is a three mana one, which is called Power Riff, I think. It's draw a minion, give it plus two, plus two. I don't know if there's another one. They are exclusive to Warrior. Uh, they are exclusive to Warrior. A good draw. I'm gonna hold the verse riff for after the bridge riff, I think. I'm just armor. Right. I want... Yeah, I think that's the way around. Uh, they're, they're from the new expansion exclusive to Warrior, yeah. Doesn't feel like bridge riff is the common one. I got offered way more than the others. No, this is the first time I got offered bridge riff more than the others. Whereas, and this is my third or fourth warrior now. I think it's my third one. Um, so if you get offered way more than the others, that's great. Perfect. Um... I can check offering rates for you. That that should uh, set it in stone. Yeah, today it seems more normal, I guess. Yeah, it is actually the more common one. I guess the thing is, it's the only one which is more of an insta pick. So I guess the in percent of decks isn't very accurate. But recently I've seen it more. So maybe it's been buffed since the adjustments. Yeah, the thing is, Dan, the others, they suck. Nobody picks them. Whereas the bridge riff is pickable, right? So uh, you can't really use the stats in that manner, right? No, pack the house used to be 2.3, whoever is. I don't know whether I waste the verse riff here. I think I do. It's a little bit of a waste, but. Yeah, I have a feeling they did add it. Um, I have a feeling they did add the suffering rates in the micro adjust maybe, Dan, because I had barely seen it before when I was playing Warrior. Oh, well, very less people played Warrior before as well. I went for the rifts. I ended up with three power cord rifts or whatever they were called initially, and one verse rift or something like that. So is this lethal? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, lethal. Let's freaking go! Yeah, you think they did, Ivanovich? So maybe that's why. So maybe now you're seeing it more, whoever's. Yeah, I was robbed of a freaking win, though, John. I'll say that. Alright, let's continue this Rift Warrior. Be right back, real quick. But let's queue in. Just gonna rush to the bathroom. Let's go. Alright, there we go. We're against Chizzed. 
shizzard here. Let's go for it. It might do with the hydrate. Try to do. Definitely dialed up the epic crit. Mm. Get to here. I think the issue is, because in my opinion, Warrior was going to be like a 7th or 8th plate class. Now, Warrior ended up in last place. Warrior ended up in last place. And the reason I think I was so incorrect is mainly, I think I'll hold, because they didn't have the core card. So they adjusted without the core cards in, which I think is a little bit of a misrepresentation, but they will be adjusting a touch more as well, right? Uh, right now I'm drinking instant drop, so typically make the single cups. Let's try and find something for flesh. I don't have a weapon, but... I think this is totally worth it. That is annoying, though. So I'm gonna go ahead and coin the Flesh Shaper. I could go face. I feel like this trade is warranted. Um, I don't know, I feel like they, uh, they did adjust Warlock Sam, I feel, though. <laughs> Downwards, maybe, even. <laughs> my my warlock was so horrible post adjust compared to pre adjust, but surely they didn't. <laughs> this is where we start ripping the bridge rifts. Yeah, it's only five face though. Smile, something, but it's getting rid of a really annoying minion. When I'm going to be in a situation where I feel like pings are going to be premium for them. If, if they were lower, like if they were 10 to 20 health, I would have maybe thought about a little more. That is a very good clear. Just perfect. I also knew their double blood smile, which means... Weapon? Uh, which means that they're likely to have a bunch of heal as well. How many rifts are- how are rifts in the arena? I stay away because I didn't know how many you'll be able to get. Well, this is the first- I, I've tried rifts in every warrior. This is at least my third one. And the other two, they've sucked horrendously. In this one, they're working. It's because I got a bunch of bridge rifts though, so... You gotta take things with a little bit of a pinch of salt, Airmel. It's a, it's a high risk, low reward, so typically you don't want to be drafting them. If you get offered Bridge Rift first, maybe that's worth a consideration, but that's about it. Is it? Do I ever take Grave Strength? Frost Worms is really good though. I think we may have to take Frost Worms. What now? Just literally just go all out with damage. So I prefer Frostworms to Frost Strike because from Frost Strike the thing I want to discover most is Frostworms Fury. So I'd rather straight up get the Frostworms, guarantee it. That's so huge for them. Destroying my Black Scale Brute is huge, 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 huge. Oh my god, that sucks. Um. Alright. Let's see what they got. I'm holding Magna Weapon for one turn. 
Could get some buffs with Anima or something. They even destroy my run thack. I was watching some of Trump's free to play standard games last night. Really interesting challenge. I love the spirit. I I didn't know he was doing it again. I feel like he's run it dry a little bit at this point, John, but. So if only I armored last turn, then I would have lethal. Is that is that what we're talking about here? Instead of anima, if I armored, I would have lethal. Is that actually what we're saying? I don't think it's funny. So freaking random as well. So freaking random as well. I remember my struggle becoming a top legend player, John. Slowly and slowly free to play. Miss order? Did I miss order? Should I have traded before playing this? And getting a little bit more buffs? Swing. Yes, I should have. I rope panicked a little bit, but I should have for sure. Tidal Rev. It's a Tidal Rev waiting room now. I was so... Yeah, so that was a misplay for sure. I was so kind of tilted by the patchwork. And I was really trying to figure out a way of lethal that I missed it. I completely missed it. Not sure why they took the damage, but maybe they feel safe. Yeah, I mean... It's titled Rev or Bust. Is he as new? I don't know. I can understand them feeling safe, to be quite honest with you. 4, 8, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, but it also lets them potentially set up lethal by pushing the 4 twice face, right? So he's like deja vu title or lose. Yeah. Can I, can I though, Pandemonium? Can we do this? This time it works though. Deserved Zalus. <laughs> oh my god. This time finally! This time, finally, the last time, it took me like seven turns to draw it. By the time, it was too late. But this time, lucky. Let's go. JT Schnitz, thank you for the follow. I'll take it. You know, now I actually don't really feel bad about that loss. Because now, for how unlucky we were in the loss, we were lucky in this one. So that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I'm not, not sure it's necessarily a misplay. It's not like a 100% misplay. I wouldn't have taken that play though. 
Yeah, bridge rift seems to be way more common now. Ah, uh, you never know. Maybe they have blood boil in their hand. Maybe they have triple death strike in their hand. You know what I mean? Like, there are ways where I can imagine them thinking that line. I don't think I would have taken that play, though. Cool stuff. All right, chat, usually I take a break at four. I think this is a good opportune moment because this run's going to take at least three more games because we're going 12, right? Simple stuff. If that were true, Fiasco, then my in my loss, I would have drawn title rev instead of missing it for seven turns in a row and then losing the game because the turn I drew it, my opponent had discovered solid alibi. If you focus on these games, then sure, they're always the lucky games. If you focus on the other games, then I'm always unlucky. The truth is that I'm always both. And then it's your choice which to focus on. Uh, I would probably go Scourge Baron, but I'm not sure. Alright, quick break. I'll be back in just a few minutes, alright? We're going to continue this warrior round. We're going to do another round after that, so stick around. Enjoy a few clips and get ready for a 12 warrior. I don't think you've seen a 12 warrior yet, right? We're getting it. Riff Warrior for the win. BRB. Wrong button. Whoops. BRB. All right. We're back. Let's play. Ooh. Did you pick the Scourge, Baron? I think I would have maybe picked the Scourge. It's tough because Queen is nice, but the Scourge, especially with the Wild Bug fixed, I think is very, very, very good. Let's get the chat loaded. Three unholy. Scourge is... Is Scourge three? I always forget which one is three. Marogar or Scourge? Alright, can we go for double Ds here? I'm liking this warrior. I've always liked warrior. I feel like warrior is always my kind of... I don't... Saving I don't grace class when it's low power. Let's go for it. Kek. D-Tag with the 16 month King W. Can you believe it's been 16 months, D-Tag? I mean, I'm just keeping crew in. I think crew is still a fine keep. Thank you, D-Tag, for, for the support, man. We're low power no more. Mm, I still think it's a touch low power though. Job's done. But yeah, it's not eleventh or whatever no more. And this is a uh, this is a good warrior. Sixteen years, Dita. Alright, we'll hipster and then we'll task. They're getting all the buffs. That's a good you thing to call. Embers? Do I ever take Blade Storm as like a saving grace card, maybe we can make it work. I feel like they're gonna have one buff minion rather than a wide board. I think I go embers. Oh my god, dude. Now I can't get the clean kill, huh? That totem done work, it did. That's very good. That's so good. It screwed me over entirely. If I if I bonk bonk with imbued, this becomes two. I think we just do this. There was a thought to pre-hitting here to get the buff, but since this is not infused, I, I don't like it. The only thing it does is gives me the Taskmaster ping when I'm probably playing specialist. What's the what's the point of bumping though? Like what do you gain? Yeah, 
Yeah, but so now it would have maybe helped me, right? Specifically because I drew the corporate. Um, uh, I was tempted to bump, but the breakpoints weren't correct, right? The breakpoints just didn't work. The point of my play that the pre-trade doesn't gain me anything, right? So... You gain one face, but it's not to get one face, it's because the pre-trade only changes if I pick up the corpus. Whereas keeping a 1-3 alive, maybe forcing an awkward trade is then interesting. I'm gonna try this. Because I was very likely going specialist anyway, right? I think in all other scenarios except of decking the corporal, there's no use to pre-hitting is kind of my idea. Did I not go face? Well now that is a mistake clear cut. Uh, does Pyre Slider count Lava Gorge as both? No, just one. It only counts it as one, Cumulonimbus, it only counts it as one. mouse over hipster it shows normal animation on the extension it would Tom on the extension it would what's the double D's talk about every every now and then oh no double digits as in 10 wins that's what I mean hmm I don't know I don't think it always makes sense like what's the point of it right if you're gonna play specialist what's the point of the pre-hit Ivanovich why are they forced to trade? Into a 2-3? Might or magic, I'll withstand it all. Do your worst. Because then you buff it again? <laughs> Maybe, but not necessarily though, right? Ooh, we could do our own bridge riff. Uh, you get that hipster card from the uh, from the tavern pass subliminal. The signature uh, hipsters from the tavern pass. So the thing is this, because that's what I spent like the entire turn thinking about there, right? The breakpoints just didn't work for me I in my head. I don't the breakpoints going through four or five, they just didn't work. Like, you're forcing yourself to then swing for impact. I don't know, it, it, it paid off. You never know what the breakpoints will be. Uh, just by my assumptions though, right? You, 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 the thing is, you, you never know, never know, right? But you, I always assume a 4-5 four, on 4, a, a, for example, a 5-6 on 5, roughly of stats. I make certain plays based around that. Is that always correct? No, but I gotta make certain assumptions. I don't know. Minshi! 11! I prefer post 
Ooh, these are dead cards, so poor Quilta. Thank you so much for the 11 months, Minshi. I really appreciate the sub. Hello there. Have you played Wild? No, I've never really played Wild Xeno, by the way. But yeah, I've heard from Jin that it is pretty crazy right now. It is pretty crazy. I could slam for Queltalas. Not sure that's needed, though. It's an interesting play. I want a coin on five, so if I slam for Queltalas, am I then trading? I'm trading a 4 3 into a 1 1. And then what do I do next turn? Corporal? Maybe it's still worth it. I'm changing my play. I know it ruins the coin, but this is just so clean now. Yeah, we are riff gaming here, Ugerson. We are riff gaming. A nice little rewarded with a riff warrior. XQC, I don't watch enough XQC. Okay, it's fine. We can forquill to us now. Um, figure out next turn. Which minion am I buffing? The hipster? Probably just have two threats. And smart. For the first time this year, I'm wearing just a t-shirt in the house. It's that warm. It is quite warm, which scares me for summer, Ivanovich. It really scares me for summer. Uh-oh. We'll see. Eh, we can trade here. See what we draw. Rockstar armor looks like what we're gonna play. <laughs> All right. So, what do I trade now is the question. I feel like it's this. We did, Ivanovich, and it was seven. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do lose out on the flesh shaper, but... So they could cons. Oh, hand of a doll. Okay. They're drawing so much. Oh, they value trade. That's interesting. So I could bonk here and save this, but seven dome is so much here. I'm doing it this way. Could sap lethal with weapons, for example. Pretty awkward to throw a silver fury into a piranha, but I wanna I wanna just try to finalize them, put all the pressure I can on them here. And we can we can play bridge riff without finale, and then we can armor bridge riff or anima bridge riff on eight. That just That's pretty good. Mainly the freeze is what's annoying. I still have three here. We're really really looking for a weapon mainly. Wow, flash of light. They felt so scared. They're taking hand of a doll and flash. That is so much healing, dude. Holy moly, man. Alright, then. I'm swapping up the play a little bit, then. Could I have gotten the buff on the anima and then miss? This would be a 2-4. This would be one less. I'd rather get the buff on this if I can. Have you noticed any class with strong discoveries today? What do you mean? Sev. 
The, the bot was fixed, if that's what you're asking. Let's try and hit the flesh shaper a few times. Yeah, the bug was fixed. The bug was fixed, if that's the question. This one, man. Dude! I wanted this so much to be a 510 because a 4 9 means they can triple trade, but also the biggins value trade, which is so huge for me, right? And now they can get fully through with the great hull. Yeah, they would have been able to get through anyway, but. need a weapon so bad. How much damage do they have? 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Holy crap. What now? I don't know if I should bridge rift just to set up another bridge rift, but this could give me weapons and stuff. So what I want. I don't even want to dredge, I think. What now? There's more armor, though. Yeah, I'm not sure they're very good, though, Vanovich. Versus double begins, buffed double begins as well. that trade three six nine five five yeah the, the the flesh shaper missing up the buffs was very very bad for me uh, one buff there we would have been huge it would have been huge with one 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 individual buff would have been game changing right weapons as well i'm missing right Like, this is huge, but they have the Great Hall coming in next turn. So we gotta do this, this. Something like this. Hey, Alira. Maybe, but I don't know about this game. A paladin that really turned it around there with, with a bunch of heal out of nowhere. <laughs> Into double buffed infused begin. Is that discovered? From so it was all right on six, but the truth is that it really wasn't the better play. Do you know what I mean? I feel at least. Set up Tidal Rev Lethal, I guess. I could clean up, but I think we have to set up the Tidal Rev Lethal. Losing the long game. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure, right? I have this, but they have a great foot. Yeah, I know they have a Colossal as well. They also have a random dragon.
This is Rift Warrior, yes siree. Yeah, there's no way out of this, right? They're just gonna great hold it, but... GG. Pray for Meteor to land on opponent, <laughs> otherwise GG. Yeah, them, the Great Hall was also super good for them, right? Cons? They have double cons? Yeah, GG. Mm, you're gonna see a lot of them, I think, Zygo. Truth is that so many people did what you did, right? Which is hold decks from pre-adjusts because of the bug. Was that intended? I mean, I don't know, d -tech. I just played a Death Knight, I drafted Scourge and Mario Guy and got Astelor off Paparazzi. Feels like you may have lost that game, Fratley. I'm full mullen here, I want better cards. These are gonna be some good stuff. 10 warrior is still good, but we need a little bit more. You stole... You stole the Myogar. They did fix the bug yesterday, yes sorry. BDR. Okay. I may start with a corporal just to kind of uh, confuse them a little or something. Yeah, I've, I've seen some really sweet priests today as well. Yeah, now I can play my shaman deck I've been holding. There you go, Zygo. I almost don't want to play the freaking Murloc Tidehunter. Do you ever task your own minion? Yeah, the pool was rough. I can make this a 7-4. At least it plays a 2-3. I don't like it, but I don't like playing Tight Hunter versus the Chisel. They'll just kill the 2 1, summon another totem, then my 1 1 is just doing nothing versus the next turn's Chisel. So it's all just a little bit awkward. Hit this. Sure. Maybe I can dino. Yeah, and there you go, hey. So uh, playing the Taskmaster actually ended up being significantly worse for me, right? This is a good dino, though. We've got a bridge riff on six. To do not really I guess they could they would have taken five maybe they wouldn't have traded though right they would have just started smarking then so maybe yeah oh oh I mean oh Oh. 
Let's try that. 10 wins. Kick what? <laughs> if there is someone looks surprised, that's it. Uh, what kind of deck track are you looking for, though? Something to track your deck in-game, Frank? If so, I think from hsreplay.net you can get the deck tracker. Hearthstone deck tracker, it's called. I need to start armoring, huh? I think this trade wants to happen, which means I think I start with Gipster. I prefer post -power hey, should be. A hex? Yeah, hsreplay.net, that's the one. Hey, just said, the second link is the deck tracker, Frank. Seems like I don't have AoE, so I'll do this. I will, uh, that's used for all modes, Frank. Um, it's the thing I have on the side of the screen right now, which just tracks your deck while it's playing. Has some other options, too. Another rowdy fan, huh? Ooh. Gonna make some space here. So I could armor bridge riff one, two, three. How is this buffed again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four there, four there, three there. I think that works. I could tight hunt it, I don't have space. Can't really avoid. That's incredible. Can do something like this. One, two, lower the heal. I guess I could triple tray. I prefer this though. One, two. Okay, so now we can armor again and set up the flesh shaper. The calm before the storm. We'll see, smile. I haven't, I haven't this season, John. I haven't played one single game of Snap. Death Weaver as well. If they Death Weaver this. This may be my hex. Honestly, this may be my hex. Let's try that. I have an execute anyway. I have no idea what that is. I used to play like one or two games a day, but I wonder what plus seven. What's that? Oh my god, Kane. Taunt, 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 Kane. Are you for real? Are you for real? You are kidding me. There is no. They even get the trades they want through the taunt, man. Do me a favor, please. One, get two. Get out of here, right here man. Four. Shit, I'm sorry. I need to clean one minion off. Every time I am kicked in this freaking game. Every time. Today is just not my day. I don't think it's funny. <sighs> okay. Yeah, my entire board is taunts, supposedly. Hey, Genia. Freaking hell, I'm gonna lose to this, aren't I? Maybe I can execute. I don't know. Why is everything slowed down for them? Why are they trading so much? Mm. 
Okay. That packed the house though. What the hell, man? Alright. I have two cards. I've got Bridge Rift. Oh, that's pretty good though. Okay. I have a lot of armor though, right? I have a lot another taunt. This mother chucker chat. This mother don't you dare, not another don't you dare roll another one. Anima, is anima even good? I mean we're playing it, right? And I guess what well, I'm pre-hitting the brass elemental. Just for an extra buff on the tide hunter, which sort of kind of makes a difference. Do I ever hold back? No, we played no. the verse rift last, right? You can do exclamation mark arena tips, Frank, and we'll, it will give you the links for everything. But it gives me an extra buff on this, which is relatively large, right, Mafundi? Plays around this and this. They can't swing into it. I don't know is the truth, but... <laughs> the poor Osad actually makes me sad, like... Uh... <laughs> what does that, that emote represent, Frank? Uh, that's hilarious. Kill O2 and wait, that is the other option, but making this a 4-3 was the only reason I wanted the pre-hit there. Because this being a 4-3... I mean, they have to, they have to kill something. Okay. You about to lose? Yeah, I know. They actually do that. They actually play it. Can I punish them somehow? I doubt it, right? There's just no way I can punish them. I am surprised that they replayed this. Thick crust, stuffed preferably. GG. That is such a scam pack the house. I think one of the largest scam pack the house. I've seen there, honestly. Triple taunt and cane. Triple taunt and cane. Are you sniping? Yeah? I don't know why you would say that. It's not necessarily, right? GG. They won because of a, a dredged pack the house. The highest of high rolls. The highest of high rolls. Dredged pack the house won them the game. You know what? Well GG. Played. Well played. Congratulations. A little bit of everything, Viking. A little bit of everything. The truth is, Pavle, if what you're scared of, because what reach does Warrior have, right? The dredge was also random from the 2 3 elemental, was it? Oh my god, it was, which makes it even worse. It's only the 8 mana 5 8, right? Um, that's, uh, that's reach. Uh, but playing the 5 mana 3 5 plays around something like slam into weapon, which I think is even more likely. Um, 
So I think playing it makes sense. Ah, uh, they also get to kill me faster. Which is a little bit extra. We'll take it. 10 is... 10 is still super solid. I mean, we got to play a Rift Warrior and uh, I really enjoyed that. I'll take a 10. We actually finally made Rift Warrior work. Six Rifts, Double Verse, Quadruple Bridge, which were kind of pretty, pretty much the carry cards in the deck, right? But, you know, Tidal Rev obviously did its job. Anima obviously did its job. I still think the Rifts were the MVPs. So uh, let's check out the rewards, but if you're watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed riffing out with this warrior. Some people were asking whether I think Rift Warrior is good. When it works, it works, I'll say, but you know, there's a reason they're maybe not really liked so much in Standard. They're a little rougher cards, but you know, get a few bridge riffs early and it can surely work. And uh, I hope you enjoy that run though, because it was really, it was, it was something, that's for sure.